Hi all and welcome to our second Java tutorial. In our first tutorial we downloaded and installed JDK, the Java development kit, and then we did some changes to our system so that our Java compiler would work. In this tutorial we are going to make our very first Java program, Hello World. It's as simple as it gets, but that's good. It gives us time to take a look at some Java facts and one of the ways we write comments in our programming code which is not actually a part of the program or to put it another way it doesn't show or interfere with our program in this tutorial we're going to be writing our source code in notepad and no it's not the editor we want to use on an ordinary basis it's what we got right now in our next tutorial we're going to download a more useful editor and we will try out different ones as we go along let's uh, open the notepad now the first thing we want to do is write a comment something that tells us some useful information and in Java slash asterisk is the beginning of a comment and asterisk slash is the end of a comment now whatever comes in between is not shown in your program it doesn't interfere with your program and remember comments are an essential part of programming if uh, someone is going to take a look at your source code later on this is where you can leave for example explanations for why you did something if you are uh, stuck on a problem and want to send your source code to someone that knows more and can help you this is where you can place your questions and uh, let's not forget all the times you'll be writing code and looking at what you wrote a year in the future and asking yourself why did I do that let's uh, start with our uh, own comment slash asterisk hello world my first program in Java this is our comment now comments don't always have to come on the top of the code you can write comments anywhere in your code for example let's say this is your code and you have a comment that you want to use a whole line for then you would use slash asterisk and either your explanation or question or whatever you want to write there would come like that now let's say you don't want to use a whole line you just want to add something at the end of the code for example you're doing a project with the currency and you want to just uh, tell the other person that's going to look at the source code that you're working with English pounds and then you would just use slash slash and slash slash means that you're just dedicating uh, the end of a line where you already have code written for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm going to be calling um, these for round brackets these for curly brackets and these for uh, for square brackets so let's start our code uh, in Java it's all about classes so we're going to start by writing class and we're going to call our program for program one and then we're going to end this line with a uh, curly bracket on our next line we're going to write public static void main round bracket capital S in uh, the word string and then we're going to have two square brackets space and then the word args round bracket and we're going to end that line with a curly bracket like this on our last line we're going to write the word system with a capital S dot out dot print ln 
as in print line. Round bracket, quotation mark, hello world, quotation mark, round bracket, semicolon. Next line, just a curly bracket, and on the last line, a curly bracket. This is our code. Now, this code is too little to start explaining what public and static void and main means, what it all means. In our next tutorial, we will start going into what all these words actually mean. Right now, the important thing is uh, to compile this and run it. But I, I'll say this, that system.out.println is what prints hello world on the screen. It's um, output of data. Now, bear with me for a minute. What we write in Java is called our source code. Now the computer can't start a program from source code. We need to translate our source code to something the computer understands. This process is what's called compiling and this is where our Java compiler comes into the picture. Now the computer only understands binary data and this is represented by ones and zeros. So source code is translated to what the computer understands, machine code. Now, Java works a little bit different than some programming languages. With our Java compiler, Java translates our source code into something called bytecode. And this bytecode is stored in a class file. And then it uses an interpreter to run the file. So the file we save is a .java file. And we, when we compile it, it makes a class file and this is the file that runs on the computer. We're now going to save this file. File save as and it's called program1. Program1 and place dot java very important and do not save it as a text document. Notepad has a tendency to put txt on the end of everything, all files. So remember, program one dot Java. Save. Now, let's go in on the documents, and we see here now we have a program one dot Java file. Go in on the command prompt. Change directory. And you see here now we have a file here, program1.java. Now we're going to use the compiler. Java program1.java, not dot class, dot java. Enter. If nothing happens, everything is okay. Now let's go in on our documents again. And you see now we have got a program one dot class file. Back to our command prompt. Now we write Java, not Java, Java program one without dot Java now. Enter. Hello world. We just used ten minutes to get this. Last thing to do. Click on the top left corner, choose Edit, Mark, and then you're going to mark exactly what you've done. Press Enter to copy, go out of the command prompt, in your source code, slash, asterisk, paste it, asterisk, slash, and then save it.